Miami and Baltimore, both unbeaten when they got out of bed and got dressed today. 73 points later, only the Baltimore Colts are unbeaten. Their first offensive play, Lydell Mitchell explodes. On the day, he carried 16 times for 137 yards. This put the Colts up by seven. Now it is Bob Greasy handing to Benny Malone, who goes 52 yards for a Miami touchdown. This put the Dolphins ahead 14-7, and Malone rushed for 145 yards. Now it is the moment when Greasy wants to go to Duriel Harris on the one-yard line. Did he fumble the ball, or was he down? The Colts screamed bloody murder that this was a touchback and should come out on the 20. But they gave it to Miami, and they scored a touchdown. Then they came back with Benny Malone again, this time 61 yards as he scores two touchdowns, gains a phenomenal 145 yards. Miami led it 28-10. Baltimore then scored 35 unanswered points. Jones goes to Chester. This is a 27-yarder. Jones, 19 of 31, 210 yards, and four touchdown passes, including this one, to McCauley, 23 yards, 45 to 28. The final score, Baltimore still unbeaten. Now the rest of the scores around the National Football League. Of course, the big game, St. Louis leading the Cowboys at the half, the contest you're watching. Kansas City and Denver. Livingston, the Chiefs quarterback, out with a separated shoulder. The Broncos rolling toward that showdown with Oakland next Sunday. Washington and Tampa Bay, the Redskins shutting out the Bucks in the third quarter. Atlanta and San Francisco, the Falcons have had two touchdowns called back in that game already. San Diego wins. They shut out New Orleans and Archie Manning, 14 to nothing. Pittsburgh, Houston, big upset and a big story. Terry Bradshaw fractured his left wrist in that game. Dowdy Pastorini of Houston may have torn up an ankle. Franco Harris, the Steeler quarterback, went out with a pinched nerve. Oilers win it 27 to 10. And again, the final score, Baltimore beats Miami 45 to 28. Cincinnati had trouble early, then came back, scored the last 17 points to beat the Pack 17-7. Other final in the NFC Central, the Bikes now lead it as they beat Detroit 14-7. New England's first shutout in three years. They racked the Seahawks 31-0. Oakland and Cleveland 26-10, and the Raiders win for the 17th straight time. Jets upset Buffalo despite 122 by O.J. Simpson. Philadelphia stops the Giants 28-10 the final in that game. And Phyllis George... We've got a baseball game coming up tonight, Kansas City and the New York Yankees. Uh, this is going to be the biggest war of all times in the American League. The weather's beautiful. It is in Kansas City. Split off starting for the Royals and for the Yankees is Gidry. Who do you like, Jimmy? You. Uh, no, no, that's not <laughs> what you're supposed to say, James. <laughs> Who do you like tonight for the baseball Kansas game? Kansas City comes up last. That gives them the edge. That's the only thing. And being at home helps. That's it. I mean, that's why they get the bat last, because are they are at home. That's right. And, you know, you're something else. And I'm going to ask you something about the World Series. Who do you like? Who's the favorite? Let's, let's make the decision right now. Okay. Regardless of who wins it between Kansas City and the Yankees, the Dodgers will be the favorite. Two good reasons. They have three or four players who hit over 300, plus the fact that they hit 30, more home, 30 or more home runs by each one, plus the fact that their pitchers have at least 24 hours more rest in either Kansas City or the Yankees. So we have to make the Dodgers a slight favorite. Good enough. Let's take it away from them, Irv, and get to the highlights. As the NFL Today continues on CBS after these messages from your local stations. Archie and Edith bury a cousin and uncover a family secret. Tonight at 9, 8 Central and Mountain on CBS. For the 40th time in his fabulous career, O.J. Simpson today rushed for better than 100 yards, but the Bills still came up a loser. It's the first time this season that the juice has turned it loose as he rolls outside for 39 yards in the early going with a score tied against the New York Jets. Bills get on the board. Ferguson to Pacone, formerly of the Jets in the corner after the extra point, 7-0. Back came Richard Todd. He's maturing slowly for Walt Michaels, coming along nicely. Here is Harper. What a pickup he has been as he gets his way to the five-yard line of the Bills. Now it'll be Todd going to Jerome Barkham for the touchdown. This put the Jets in command 17-7, and the Bills were forced to come off the deck. Ferguson rolling, wants Chandler his favorite target, made it 17-14, they then tied it. A couple of minutes to go, the Bills fumbled. 
And for the 13th straight time since he became coach, Jim Ringo came up a loser for Buffalo as Clark Gaines ran it in. 24-19, Jets a winner. Brent, the Minnesota Vikings took a commanding lead in the National Football Conference Central Division today by defeating the Detroit Lions 14-7 out of Minnesota. Of course, Van Tarkin had a pretty good day, passing for 267 yards and two touchdown passes. And here's one of his early throws in the ballgame down to Ahmed Rashad, down to the 13-yard line. Sets up a pretty nice sequence of plays, which is followed up by this one, the pass to Sam and White. Remember him, the great wide receiver, was rookie of the year last year. Minnesota takes an early 7-0 lead. Targeting this time, Alexa goes with some uh, razzle-dazzle, throwing the ball outside to Ahmed Rashad, who's pinned up here on the sideline. He hands the ball off to Sam and White, and Sammy legs it the rest of the way in for another Minnesota score, and he led 14 to nothing. Of course, the Viking defense is pretty tough, and Greg Landry tried to find some kind of way to crack it, and he does here as Luther Blue goes over on a pretty tough run here and goes in, but it wasn't enough as Minnesota won 14-7. And Irv Tarkenton, 21 of 31 for 267 yards. Tell Jimmy the Greek about the Tark stats today, will you? <laughs> Dallas and St. Louis, as Ben Scully has told you, it has been an excellent football game. Jimmy Bakken with a 32-yard field goal. Cardinals ahead of the Cowboys, 3-0. Watch this block punt. Here comes Waters. It's going to be recovered by the Cowboys on the 13-yard line. And that set up a Herrera field goal. A 29-yarder coming up. And it managed to tie the score at Dallas 3 and St. Louis 3. And Herrera is dead on. Is he? I guess the only big one I can ever remember missing was in that game against Minnesota that opened the season. Now it's Metcalf. Here he comes, back in the starting lineup for the Cardinals. He explodes, 62 yards for the touchdown, and after the Barkin extra point, it was 10-3, and Phyllis George was looking downcast. But then back came Tony Dorsett. Oh, that's a $100 fine for doing that. Now it's Tony Dorsett, 77 yards. Sweet run, isn't it? He just busts loose there and turns it on. Notice that high step when they get a hand on him. Shades of Gale Sayers, tied at 10 after Herrera's extra point. Now it is Hart, who is shaken up rudely. What a game, 79, Harvey Martin has had. Mel Gray caught it, 60 yards, and it put him up. And at halftime, 17-13 is the score. And the NFL today will continue on CBS in just a moment.